Hi guys and welcome to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates and 87. Today we're going back to the Premier League, seems like it's finished now, can't really see many of the players getting informed versions or anything else like that as uh, very few of them are actually uh, in the Copper America, um, especially the English players which uh, the Man United team does feature a lot of. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below in the description. Use discount code B87 to get a bit of a discount off as well. Man United fans out there, if we can try and hit over 5,000 likes that'd be absolutely awesome and subscribe if you are not already so with this team it's very similar to the team we did last time uh, if you guys are old to the channel you'll know that this is revisited yet again like the Arsenal team but you guys do like to see the change from the start of FIFA to now I think last time we actually did this team it had informed Di Maria and that was the first week of FIFA so let's set the parameters and get this team built now Manchester United um, obviously are getting Depay and things like that so his cards are going to come out but I don't think it'll affect this team in the goalkeeper position we have team of the season De Gea who may be on his way out of Old Trafford who knows by the time this video has gone live, he may have already decided his fate. In the centre-back position in the middle, we go the slowest of the three centre-backs, which is none other than Jones. And then on the left-hand side, we go with Rojo, who is the highest-rated defender at 79, um, alongside Jones. And then next to him, we do go with Evans. Now, we could put Small in there, but he's 76, and Evans is 79. So, three 79-rated defenders. And to be honest, it showed they were 79-rated as well, and we'll explain that in the highlights. In the centre-midfield position on the left and right-hand side, so we do go with Inform Herrera. And then a bit of a dodgy one. We actually got the second in form Wayne Rooney, 88 rated, and we moved him down from striker to centre midfielder. Now, the reason I've done that is because Wayne Rooney does actually play in the centre forward camp position for United, so we put him in the CM role um, just because we could really, and it's more realistic with him there anyway. In the right midfield position, we have in form Matter, who I really do not like in the right midfield position, um, just doesn't suit it. 75 pace for a winger just is not good. In the left midfield position, we we have second in form Ashley Young, 81 rated with 88 pace and 87 dribbling. A lot of people got a nerdgasm when he did manage to get a left back in form, but it wasn't really effective. When you got a, a, a defender with less than 40 defending, you know you're not going to have a good day. But in left midfield position, he is very, very good and was brilliant for United in the second half of the season. In the camp position, we have team of the year Di Maria. Ridiculous card, very expensive, but is he rare? Let's have a look. He is extinct. So there you go. Team of the Year, Di Maria is extinct on Xbox. Very, very nice looking card. The only blue apart from De Gea in the team as well. And to finish off, guys, we have two of the highest rated BPL strikers, which is Falcao on the left-hand side. And then we do have Van Persie on the right-hand side. The reason we put Van Persie on the right-hand side is because of cutting in on his left foot. And it is a very dominant left foot. But... Do you reckon that these players will keep the ratings for next season? I.e. the likes of... Um well, mainly the two strikers. Do you think they're going to be 88 rated next season? Van Persie had a heavy hit injury season again. Falcao not really made any appearances and um, he's on his way out of Old Trafford as well as they're not taking him on. So, guys, leave a like rating on the video. Subscribe if you are not. And let's go in to get into the highlights we did manage to get with this best possible Manchester United team available to you on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. So, like I stated in the start of the video, guys, the defence is absolutely atrocious. And this isn't me being a Liverpool fan saying it. I really struggle to play with this team uh, it felt clunky the goals I was scoring were horrendous Two of the highest rated strikers in the Premier League with, well, in the Premier League, in the game. This is nothing to do with real life. This is in the game. You've got two 88 rated strikers who, in game, should be ridiculous. They're 88 rated, for fuck's sake. They are horrendous. Um, Well, horrendous in the style of play that I do. I was trying to play with Van Persie, how he plays in real life, um, holding up the ball, Falcao. I was just trying to use him like he used him in FIFA 14. Could not do so. With the defence itself, it opened up um, faster than someone in Amsterdam red light district and it was frustrating free at the back formation as well to get the highest rated team and uh, there's nothing you can do about it it's a shame Valencia didn't get an informed right back card and uh, we could have we could have gone with four at the back then but unfortunately we couldn't do so with this now one matter in the right midfield position is very difficult to play with, very low place, but he did manage to get a few goals from it, and that I'm not going to complain about. Everything else was pretty horrendous with him, but I'm not going to lie about his uh, finishing and his passing, and his positioning as well. He seemed to pop up all over the place. Now, Falcao was the lead striker out of the two. Van Persie sat back a lot, was trying to abuse his left foot, but was unable to do a lot with it, and De Gea is pretty good 
if you don't bring him off the line. Bring him off the line is pretty horrendous, but he is a nice one-on-one -on -one shot stopper and uh, definitely worth your money if you're looking to invest in a BPL goalkeeper from Team of the Season. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like rating. Manchester United fans, leave a like rating and let me know what you think of the team if you do have a full Manchester United team, whether you think I'm correct in saying so, whether it's a sluggish team or whether you think it's the best team on FIFA. So guys, leave a like, rate and subscribe if you're not. Leave some comments down below of some more best possibles I can do in the future and make sure you check out the playlist I have done before of all the ones I've done this FIFA. So until next time, guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.